institutions, well, they are one inside the other, but that, that I uh, work for in uh, Rotterdam, and where we've been making efforts to work with uh, floss and hybrid and hybrid and experimental publishing. So uh, I hope not. I would want to take. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Go fast. Uh, so one of those places is the publication station. Um, uh, it's um, um, well, this, it, it started initially many years ago with side well, with microphone. Um, so um, initially started uh, something with. essentially a, a print workshop for many years, an uh, analog print in the Willem de Koning Academy in Rotterdam, uh, where there's, um, there was and still is letterpress uh, workshops, silk screening workshops, uh, lithography, resoprint, etc. etc. And in the last two years there was uh, an intention to move more towards electronic uh, and digital publishing. Uh, this is an image of our wiki. Um, she, uh, it's a bit of cumbersome address, uh, but we can, we can quickly go there. Just, uh, so that you have an idea. So publication station slash wiki. And try to type that in this amount of time and uh, get the price. Um, and essentially, uh, yeah, we've been building our, like we have the analog printing uh, workshop resources, also building the electronic publishing resources, so wiki, uh, our own server, and recently there's a device lab, which is a place with many, many uh, uh, e-readers and uh, smartphones where students and tutors can test out publications in all forms and formats, etc. So, and one of the goals that um, we uh, set on uh, from the beginning last year and a bit quite influenced by the research that was done by the, the uh, Digital Publishing Toolkit project that uh, both Scott Friedland and, and, and uh, mentioned. And so you see the familiarities of the icons. Oh, this is a bit, yeah, it's not expecting to be this small, but um, uh, one of the ideas, uh, well, that the principles that we try to do in the, with our efforts in hybrid publishing is uh, ask ourselves and really try hard to see if uh, we can, uh, with our own means, uh, publish uh, 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 across different formats. And it should be done uh, uh, quite cheaply and uh, without much uh, fuss and without hiring external um, companies and outsourcing the work. And essentially, the idea is that it was mentioned by uh, by them before that there's these multiple formats that drive from one single process uh, and channel and uh, and one single source. One of the interesting things about that is the connection between uh, uh, source and output. That should be um, uh, in both directions. It should circulate in both directions. So, what happens uh, is that. Ideally, this should foster a dialogue between uh, content creation process and design processes so that one and the other can talk to each other when then uh, graphic designers wait for the content to be finished so that they can uh, start uh, producing the, uh, the, 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 what will become the book. Uh, and another interesting thing, I'm, I'm really sorry for the, for, the, for the bad resolution, but maybe I'll try to give you the slides in some other format, but another uh, effort was also to try to find out other formats. And this is what you're seeing, it's a book trailer, this is something that Michael Horta and Silvio Russo prototyped, and it was the idea that, uh, uh, of, a, of a script that, that opened EPUBs and took out the metadata and all the images and laid them out as an animated GIF, uh, so you kind of get an overview, quick, quick overview of the book. Um, yeah, so 
why this is also a little bit, um, I think, an answer or, or, or to the to the presentation that we had on the first day on Friday, to the students here that were uh, uh, that uh, were talking about their use and difficulties with using free software or with their work and why they use it and what's difficult about it. Um, why do we use FOSS um, in 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 these processes? Is mainly uh, because these are the tools are really the, 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 the tools that we're using are really doing stuff that I don't see proprietary software uh, being able to do or even interested. So, for example, Pandoc that does markup conversion with ZipPrint that is quite an interesting uh, layout 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 uh, tool. Um, I think Python library uh, that works from HTML to PDF using CSS and really implements well. Uh, the CSS specification, make files as kind of recipe books, open source fonts, etc., etc. Uh, and of course, another interesting aspect is uh, uh, how to integrate in the same process of various uh, contributors and collaborators. So Git becomes quite important there, and uh, it's still something that is still not completely. Um, able to communicate with the bachelor students and students that are collaborating with us in project, but we see, see it as incredibly important. Uh, and yeah, and this, this idea of small like pipeline kind of um, uh, workflows where um, programs that do one thing like Pandoc that converts and then uh, markups and a uh, visit print that produces a PDF uh, in the end that just do one thing and one thing well and can be recombined into small simple recipes and expanded and changed and uh, etc. Um, so some of the projects that, that now it's going to be tricky to open tabs with um, huh? um, so um, one of the projects that we work on is um, and still working on it's um, uh, an online magazine about social design and uh, this we decided to Work with um, um, to work with a wiki as a oh thank you thank you um, so one of the our ideas was to uh, have the content of that um, the magazine on the wiki so it could easily be edited by anyone any collaborator from any part of the world. Uh, but wikis favor uh, uh, writability in, uh, instead of readability. It's not uh, the best format for reading uh, on a screen. So I decided, uh, given that there's a, a web API for the wiki, why don't we simply build a, a front end based on HTML templates and then using Pandoc, you use those templates and you check the HTML that's converted and something that looked like this on the wiki, then very easily can look uh, uh, very different, like 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 this uh, form. And um, and yeah, we continue using this formula to on other projects. It's it's a fairly simple pro uh, formula. But um, uh, another one was the media design graduation show catalog, where we have wiki pages again with the student works and the info boxes and images. So the same kind of um, wiki page, when was placed on a on a on a front end, then uh, became something. This is starting to break this website. Uh, something like this. So this is, doesn't have a lot of content, and maybe it hasn't been updated because the uh, the, the updates go through a script. Uh, and there's also the refugee Facebook, uh, which was an interesting project that dealt with. Um, um, yeah, uh, essential phrases for uh, refugees, and it was translated from many, many languages, and see how we could put this on a print publication uh, uh, and work with students uh, in doing so, um, which was quite interesting uh, challenge, especially working with fonts in other uh, alphabets and non-Latin alphabets, uh, the device lab, etc. Um, uh, so. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, so that's the 
how do we try to, 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 to get these projects going and try to uh, stimulate hybrid publishing, experimental publishing, thinking about what publishing is uh, in, in a broader sense. Um, well, we try to use the wiki that I showed you previously as a site of documentation where every single process, every single experiment that we do uh, is documented and hopefully used by others. I think that the same process that we're using uh, uh, putting wiki content onto a, uh, another front end uh, was used by hackers and designers over the year. Uh, and they used the same ideas and a bit of the same code and, and did, did this similar thing for themselves, but of course they changed it and really made uh, quite an improvement out of it. Uh, then another uh, important aspect that I think is incredibly relevant is this collaboration between tutors and students and external guests that work together on projects and, and as, 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 as peers and not as uh, different uh, levels of, uh, of uh, yeah, knowledge. Um, so, yes, and the integration of FLOSS in the curriculum, so, for example, this year I started teaching uh, first year graphic design students, or web design, so it's at HTML, CSS and JavaScript, uh, and the reception was, uh, for the majority, was quite good. Uh, but of course this all comes out from a lot of blood and tears and nothing is really easy, but uh, I think we, uh, well, as educators or as developers or, or, or as artists and designers that use free software and, and, and alternative tools for, for doing our work and build those tools, I think we should, we should challenge the assumption that artists and designers uh, uh, should be kept away or are afraid of text-based interfaces, of code, of programming, and maybe try to find ways on how these two universes could um, work together and, and, and find points of contact and interest. Um, because my reaction for, uh, in teaching 18, 20 year old students uh, uh, web design are very, uh, are, they are very open. They don't take it as, I don't do this, I'm a graphic designer, I work with in design and illustrator. No, they go for it. So you open a text editor and they start writing in HTML and then you write in CSS and you JavaScript, and from there on, I think we can also pay for those for more interesting work. Uh, having said that, uh, um, from someone. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, uh, just move slightly. So this in the same city that uh, they the, and the, the Pittsburgh Institute, which is the postgraduate institute inside the Film Academy. Academy uh, uh, is next year in 2007 to 2016 starting a new program called Experimental Publishing. Uh, and I invite you all to visit the gymnastics, to visit the, the, our website that we are, where we are building the curriculum and developing uh, what will be the, the program next year. But of course this program doesn't come out of nothing and having so many people here that either um, were part of the, well, was once meet the network needed, uh, and I'll go back to the chronology and suddenly became, at some point became a media design and experimental publishing. I think it's quite interesting to refer to this, but just to give you a brief overview uh, of the core of this program that moved, I think it started in 2002, correct, by Femke uh, Snack and uh, Matthew Fuller as network media uh, masters. I think Michael uh, also became uh, a part of the program and started teaching quite early on. At some point, Florian Kramer continued the, the, the program, and uh, in 2012, it merged with another program called Venspace and became media design. And more recently, now we're having experimental publishing. And what will be experimental publishing? So it will be um, a, a master's program where we want to take the notion of publishing as a, 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 <laughs> but from a media agnostic perspective and uh, really look into it for at this, at these different dimensions, like technical, social, political, what are the implications of an act of making something public, whatever is the means, if it's via uh, Twitter, if it's via uh, whistleblowing, uh, uh, um, book publishing, 
fantasy and culture. What what are the reasons for these forms of publishing to exist today, and what are their uh, social um, sphere, and what are their relevance and, and importance, and, and and challenge actually the 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 notions that are taken for granted nowadays of, uh, of about publishing, about new digital, and what's going to change, and etc. Um, and and really try to disrupt and to play with these existing notions and, and try to not take it for granted but actually experiment with it. And then of course building a lot on the tradition from uh, media design and network media where uh, flaws tools are very important and code are an essential part of the um, of, of the, the, the work process. Um, I think it will be quite an interesting and challenging Program. So the applications are open, I think, until 1 of May, if I'm not wrong, for European. So if you know anyone that's interested in this bit of sh shameless self promotion, but uh, we'll be also very welcome to uh, answer questions later or now about the program. If you want to approach me, Michael Montau, there's also some current students. So yeah, I'll, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you. Thank you.